Okay, what is up you guys? Uh, just bringing you another tutorial here. Uh, just a couple of computer tricks and tips and stuff that I've learned over the years and wanted to share with you. So let's get right into it. Uh, first, of all, first of all, I wanted to pull up the command prompt. And if you don't know how to do that, it's CMD in your search function. And uh, first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, being able to trace your router um, information, your IP and everything. So you type in IP config. It's IP, it's IP C O N F I G. Hit enter, and it'll come up with a bunch of information, everything. And this default gateway right here is the one you want. That's for your router sign in. And you just uh, right click and you mark it and you select it and then right click over it again. And then you can go to your browser and put it in your browser just like that and it'll pull out all that up and you can mess with your router settings and everything like that okay and then the next one we're gonna do is NetView and what you can do with NetView is if you're wired in with a laptop or a desktop you can see who all is on your network and this really comes in handy if you think there's someone that's on there that's not supposed to be or someone's taking up all your bandwidth and everything and you're like get off my internet and <laughs> stuff like that so that's pretty handy uh, you can also do a tracer this is kinda cool um, you, it just traces uh, your ping to a website and the websites the server location you can find out uh, just type in, we'll do youtube.com, it's tracer, T-R-A-C-E-R-T, -E all one word, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do YouTube, and it'll do all this, all the hops and everything, and give it a minute, see if it can do it, well, it takes a little while, but um, it'll give you an IP at the end, and uh, you can throw that into, actually it's that IP right there, my bad. Um, you can throw that IP into a IP locator and you can find the location of the server or company maybe. But that's pretty cool. So I think that's all I had for that. For the command prompt, that's just a few things you can do. Uh, then Actually, I was going to show you a list. If you just go to Google type in cmd commands, actually I got it up right here I'll throw this website in the description but it's just a bunch of um, cmd command lines and stuff that you can go through they're just kinda like shortcuts and stuff you can mess with the mess with your computer and stuff and it's just kinda cool so if you're interested in that check that out I'll throw the link in the description like I said before okay so the next thing I wanted to talk about was browsers and over the years I've really used Firefox Firefox to me is pretty good never really had any trouble with it um, Google Chrome also really great never had any problems with it um, they're pretty pretty cutting edge good updates and everything compatible with just about anything Internet Explorer however I wouldn't recommend it at all because it's slow, unreliable, bound to get viruses on it even with an antivirus which is my next point. Uh, antivirus. Every computer needs one. And I keep mine in a hidden folder. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but I use Avast personally. Avast is one of the best, if not the best free antivirus you can get on the internet and it's a lot better than Norton and McAfee which you usually have to pay for after you get a subscription with like your computer or anything if you first buy it but yeah Avast it's got all the necessary tools to scan to do a lot of cool stuff you can buy it to get some of the features like sandbox and safe zone a firewall or something but usually computers have a firewall of some kind already on their on their on their system. So 
Um, if you just want the basics, it's free. They don't really bother you with registration things and all that. So it's really nice. Um, other than that, it's it's quite nice. That's all I gotta say about it. Uh, check that out if you want to. That and AVG. AVG is pretty good too. Um, usually, if you look on download.cnet.com, you can find a lot of good software, especially antivirus on there. That's where I got all these programs I'm about to show you. Uh, C Cleaner. This is just a... Um, it cleans out your system and stuff of unnecessary files and that just slow down your computer. You can run it and it'll clean up your system and make it a little bit quicker possibly. You can uh, fix your registry errors and everything with this tool. Uh, they got some other tools just to uninstall do your startup programs which you, if you don't want something to start run on startup you can stop it. Um, there's a system restore uh, tool and a drive wiper tool if you want to delete some free space or some data which that brings me to our next point uh, files terminator files terminator um, you can delete files and not be able to recover them so if you have any personal information or you're trying to sell your computer or something I'd recommend this highly because it'll delete your information and you won't be able to recover it recover it with any other kind of program unless it's a really really good program like government level but um, I mean in the recycle bin there is a permanent delete but that's not actually permanently deleted you can recover that it takes some time but you can do it with the right program but files terminator definitely definitely will delete it permanently and then malwares bytes and I'm anti-malware is just a more in-depth malware antivirus as opposed to Avast which is an all-around virus antivirus so those are the some of the things some of the useful tools that I use and I was going to show you how to make an invisible folder so what you want to do is you want to go to new and folder and then the name box keep it highlighted uh, hold down alt and type in 0160 uh, let off the alt and then hit enter and this shouldn't come up for you it should just show blank in the name but since this folder up here already has that name it won't let me do the same name twice so I'm gonna go ahead and click now and it's gonna keep the, keep the name but for you it should show up with no text and then to make it invisible you go to properties and then customize and then change icon and you just go over till you see a couple of blanks and you click in one of those and you click OK and then apply and then OK and you have a, an, an invisible folder so that's pretty neat All right. The last thing I wanted to show you guys was a little trick that I learned. And that's not what I want. Uh, just pull up the task manager and go to processes and go down to explore.exe and hit in process. Now I'll prompt this and just hit in process. And voila! everything's gone. That's icons and taskbar and everything but don't freak out. So uh, you just go to file and new and then type explore.exe it's all back. We good. <laughs> just use this. I mean you can scare your friends or your mom or your dad or something. It's just kind of fun. Uh, you can it won't hurt your system really at all. Uh, you're uh, Sorry. Um, if you turn off your computer and turn it back on, it'll be fine. It'll be back to normal. It's not like it's going to kill your computer or anything. You'll be fine. So just be careful about which processes you do run, though, because there's some that can mess up your computer. Um, but yeah, so be very careful. So yeah, uh, the processes tab is really pretty useful. Um, say, for instance, you have Firefox. Sometimes this happens to me. 
uh, you close it too quick and then you open it back up and it says oh you already have a window open even though you don't well if you go to the processes tab you can scroll down to firefox.exe and you right click and you hit end process tree and it'll close it and then you'll be able to open it up immediately so yeah that's pretty much all I have for you guys for this tutorial uh, be sure to like, subscribe, go follow us on Twitter, you know, uh, comment, tell us what you want to see, if you have something specific, and we'll try and do it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.